Good morning and welcome to today's Facecast. We haven't done very much in the prophets, have we? The prophets of the Old Testament who were there to speak warnings to God's people, to tell them to get back on the right path or else something dreadful may well happen to you. Generally, that's what the prophets are doing. They're calling people back to living a, a godly way. And one of the prophets, Isaiah, does this particularly because he's, he's the prophet who refers the most to the coming Messiah, to Jesus. He refers to him in a whole variety of ways. And in this particular passage, just one verse, in Isaiah chapter 57, um, he is explaining a bit more about who God is and how, how he is and how he believes and lives. He says this in verse 15 of chapter 57. For this is what the high and lofty one says, he who lives forever, whose name is holy. I live in a high and holy place, but also with him who is contrite and lowly in spirit. I live with him, with God in heaven. I live with him who is high and lofty, as you would expect God to be. Uh, but he was also contrite and lowly in spirit. In other words, humble. So we have this great dichotomy of who God is, the high and mighty one, but who is humble in heart. How can that be? Well, it can only be somebody as loving and caring and gracious as God our Father, exemplified in Jesus the Son who came to live amongst us. That's who God is. High and mighty, the creator of the world and everything in it, including you and I. And at the same time, so humble in spirit that he wants to be the servant of all. And that's very difficult for us as human beings to understand, first of all, and certainly very difficult for us to live. There may well be people you know who you've regarded as very capable, intelligent, able people, but also very humble. And you kind of admired them along the way. They may be church related or they may not. They just may be in the, the regular stream of life. But there are people who are like that, aren't there? There are people who are quite above the rest of us in the way that they conduct themselves. And yet somehow they don't seem to lord it over you. We also know plenty of arrogant people who think they're wonderful. But there are those people we know who are that little bit special. And that's closer to the heart of God than most other people. Whether they know it or not, whether they intend it or not, they just are. And they're the people who impress us, who leave upon us a mark of something to live up to, to look toward as an example. All of that comes from God our Father in heaven. That's the imprint of who God is, is and how he wants to be and how he wants us to be. Could you live a life of being an example to other people that other people look up to and yet being completely humble of heart, ready to serve others. That's a great calling if you can manage that. Most of us struggle all the time to, to achieve either one of those things, to be respected and to be regarded. But it's, an, it's something we should and could aim for in our lives. It's what Isaiah is talking about when he's talking about the God he knows. It's what he's pointing towards when he talks about Jesus and that's who and how Jesus is when he comes to be amongst us. The mighty one yet humble in heart. It's a challenge for all of us and probably enough for today. See you soon.